We showed you the amazing picture last week, a suspected child molester after a run-in with the dad. Tonight, Kelly Joyce talks with that Florida father about what he says he saw and how he reacted. Swear or this was the scene last Friday. 18-year-old Raymond Frolander standing before a judge charged with sexual battery. His face swollen and bruised. Daytona Beach police say Frolander was beaten by the father of the victim. I attacked him viciously and I didn't stop. The only time I paused was to go to the kitchen and retrieve a butcher knife because I was going to kill him. This 35-year-old father, Jason, says he walked in on Frolander, a family friend, attacking his son. Jason told police he went out for a bite to eat, and when he came back, he heard something in the bedroom. I found my son Raymond in the room. He called 911. I just walked in and found a grown man molesting and I got him in a bloody puddle for you right now, officer. When Daytona Beach police showed up, they found Frolander unconscious. He was taken to the hospital, then to jail. Police say Jason won't face any charges for the beating because he was protecting his child as a crime was being committed. Police also say Frolander admitted to the sexual battery. Normally, we would not show the face of a father whose son had been sexually attacked, but this father wanted to show his face and let you know he thinks his son is a hero. Because I was going to kill him. My son stepped in front of me and saved his life. He just looked at me and said, sir, and he shook his head and just, no. And I just put the knife down. And I just wouldn't traumatize him any more than he already was. Jason says his family is trying to heal, but he felt he needed to talk publicly about this case to let all victims of sex crimes know they do not need to be afraid to come forward. Everybody wants to do the, you know, not my family, not my family. Or they got to wait till it hits close to home and all that. Nine out of ten of these are an uncle, a, a brother, something. Jason tells us his son is in counseling. He says he's a very tough kid who will get through this. He says this has not only affected his family emotionally, but financially as well. Kelly Joyce, Fox News.